Hi everybody, welcome back to DayZ and in this video we're going to show you how to install another one of Hunter Z's mods. This one will put this little fella onto your server. This is the Otter. How cool is he? Though this one doesn't seem to be um, that bothered about me. Oh there he goes. <laughs> now Otters can be hunted. Uh, you can shoot them, you can kill them, and you can get meat, and I think you can get a pelt out of them as well. But this little guy, I'm going to let him be on his way. Uh, I think they swim as well, which you'd kind of expect as an otter, wouldn't you? Um, and they are another welcome addition to uh, Daisy, making the countryside more immersive, and in fact making the cities, towns and villages more immersive, because of course the wildlife would invade those areas as well, wouldn't it? Okay, so let's exit out of here so we can show you how to install this. And what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to install it on a local server and on a community remote uh, internet server as well. Okay, so let's do the um, local server first. So as with ever, you want to go over to um, the Daisy Workshop inside Steam, search for Daisy Otter, I'll put a link in the description below the video, and subscribe to the mod you'll notice that there are no dependencies for this mod either which is very very good but we are going to have to um, fiddle around with um, XMLs and that sort of stuff now once you fire up the launcher it will then download and then what you want to do is then go on the mods uh, bit here um, you can find the Daisy Otter mod or you can it doesn't really matter you can click on any of the mods this little arrow here click on the three dots open folder in Windows Explorer and here it is so there's Daisy Otter so you're going to copy that and then you go up probably to go into your Daisy server and then you're going to right click and you're going to paste that then you'll have Daisy Otter here so if we go into here we've got the normal things we've got the add-ons the keys and the territories um, if we go inside territories you'll find that there is a nice little readme file that Hunter has provided that does give you the instructions on how to install it which is very very cool however just be careful at the time of recording this video on the 24th of april 23 there is an error and that is at the top here where it says file usable equals rat territories that shouldn't be rat territories that should be otter territory so if we copy that and paste that in like so that will be correct so watch out for that one when you're doing it okay so if we look at it it tells us exactly what to do so the first file he says to open up is cfg environments cfg so if you go into your server go into the missions we're going to do it on a channel server so we click on here and cfg environment so you open that up there we go Let's scroll to the top and he says um, what you want to do is near the top you want to copy and paste this line here file path equals env forward slash otter territories xml and as you can see i've already done it so you just underneath where you have the list of all the vanilla animals just paste it in there and then having made that change to the otter territories you want to copy all of that and then still in cfg environment xml scroll down and you'll find the bit where it says hen there it is and so above hen copy and paste the otter in there as you can see I've done there and then you'll want to save that the next thing we want to do is go to our events.xml so within our local server if we go into the DB folder and then we edit the events file all we need to do is grab the event like that go into events as you can see we'll paste that in there as you can see I've already pasted it in so that's lovely jubbly and then the final bit is to add this bit to types.xml so we go into db again edit our types.xml as you can see I've pasted this in so this adds the otter the meat of the otter and the pelt of the otter as well make a nice pair of um, slippers wouldn't they so that those things have persistence on your server and then it just says make sure you move the otter territories.xml to your daisy mission folder so what you would then do is you would go up 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 go back into the daisy otter find the otter territories and then we want to say this is generous so we get that so we just copy that one 
So if you're using one of the other maps on your server, you would use that. Come out of there, go back into the missions, go into Chernerus, go into ENV, and you would paste it in there, and there you'd have the Otter Territories. Okay, now you've probably already got the key there, but it's worth checking anyway. So if you go into Daisy Otter, go into Keys, grab the key by copying it, go into the Keys uh, directory for your server, and you paste it in. You've probably already got it, because you've probably already got some of uh, Hunter's um, mods already on there, so that's pasted in there. So the next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that our batch file includes the name of the um, mod so it will start with it in fact so sometimes a good thing is to go to the daisy otter left click it once left click it again right click to copy daisy otter then open up your batch file now for me i make a different batch file for almost every other mod that i might want to test and play with on the server so i've already made a batch file for, that starts up for a churnerous server with vanilla plus plus and zombri on it and you'll see so what I do is your batch file might look a little bit different but there will be a start line on it and there will be a mod section here and then within the mod section you want to put if you're adding daisy otter in put semicolon at daisy dash otter and obviously if you've um, if you've copied the name you could quite simply just paste it so you make sure you don't get any spelling wrong but just make sure you have that semicolon if you're adding it um, if it's the last one there won't be a semicolon after it if it's the first one there won't be a semicolon in front of it but it probably won't be the first I have mine after community framework summary admin daisy otter then vpp admin tools and that works fine um, and then you would save that um, and then basically you are good to go so just double click on your batch file go into your launcher and you'll be able to get in so that was how to you how you install um, daisy otter on a uh, lo local server now let's look at how you install Daisy Otter on a remote server and we're going to be using Nitrado as an example. So actually I should open up my Nitrado server, shouldn't I? So while that's loading up, here we go. And let's go down to my test server. Oh, I'll tell you what, we'll probably restart that one because it looks like it needs restarting. 1L, where is Daisy PC? Is it that one? Let's just restart that server because it's just stopped for some reason. Okay, one TPC test server. Okay, so that's the server there. So what you want to do is you'll want to fire up your um, FTP program. I'm using FileZilla in this particular case. And you'll want to make sure on the left-hand side, which is your local files, you'll want to have accessed the workshop. Again, if you're not quite sure where the workshop is, if you just go into the folder where your server was, Go into Daisy, go into Workshop, left click up the top here where this line is, and you'll get an address. Now we can right click copy, go back to FileZilla, paste that in, and that will then take us directly to the workshop. As you can see, I've already connected to my server, so all I need to do is scroll down, make sure we've got that selected, go down to Daisy Otter, right click that, upload. And that will then upload that to there. As you can see, it's already there. Then we need to make sure the key is already there. So if we open up the Daisy Otter folder on the left, click on the keys, that will then be down here. Scroll down on the right to get to the keys section. And then we just right click upload. And it's going to say, you've already got this key. Um, actually, it's, ah, right, because I've already told it. I've, mine has certain rules about when to give me an error or not and i've told it look if this file is newer just upload it anyway I and mean, if it's not don't bother so the keys are up there so the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we um add the um territories file so we, this is a chernerous server so we're going to open up chernerous plus and then we're going to go inside the env so there's all the territories there so on the left hand side if we just open up territories and i go open up chernerous we can just go right click upload so the otter territories are now over here close that and now what we want to do is we now want to do the editing of the xml's so if we go into daisy offline chernerous down here you can see all of the files and what you can do is you can right click or you can in vanilla plus plus and go view edit and this opens it up in your local text editor 
So what I can do now is I can quite simply go here, scroll to the top and grab that bit there. So we copy that, CFG and, and paste that um, underneath the bare one. And then go to this one. Now in your file, just double check that that line there, the uh, file name is Ambient Otter. Um, in some, at the, at the beginning when this um, mod was first uploaded, it said ambient, um, sorry, uh, here we go, an otter territories there, sorry, file usable equals otter, otter territories. When it first got uploaded, this said rat territories, but you want to change that, you want to copy otter, otter territories from there and copy it into there to make sure that the file uses the correct territories file. So we just copy that, scroll down, 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 down to where you see hen, and above the hen, paste all your stuff in, save that, and then when you go back to FileZilla, it will say, this has been changed, you want us to upload it? So you say yes. We can shut that down. And then the next file we want to look at is our events. Uh, in fact, sorry, I should take a step backwards there, shouldn't I? I was, I was being a bit rude. So within the workshop folder um, on your computer or in, on your server, um, within Daisy, if you find Daisy Otter, and go into it and then go into otter territories you'll find the see the ambient otter readme so you edit that with um uh, notepad plus plus is the one i'm using here and that gives you the instructions that's the instructions i'm following to go through and install that so that, that's, that's how i know i want what's how i know what we've got to do so we've just um edited cfg config so now we're going to add events and we're going to edit events.xml so events.xml is in the db directory so we just right click edit that grab the ambient otter event like so and paste that uh, we just put it right at the top save that this will then say it's changed you want us to upload it so we say yes shut that down and the next file we want is the types.xml so if we if you edit that we just take this section here and just paste that. We can put that right at the top up here and save that. And then if we go back to files editor, it says change, you want us to upload it, you say yes. And then we can shut that down there. And then the final thing it says to do is to move the otter territories to XML. But we did that right at the beginning. That was the first thing we changed, wasn't it? When we added otter territories X, uh, XML to um, our um, ENV folder. So that's that bit done. But what we need to do now is you need to make sure that the server starts with the mod. And on Nitrado server, you go into the general settings and you scroll down when that finally loads up very slow internet here and you've got your additional mod section if you're with a different service provider or you maybe control your own box this will be in your windows batch file but i guess if you're doing that you probably really know what you're doing don't you so what we need now is just the name of the mod so if we go to our workshop folder again um, which would have been in this one and then we can just go to make sure we get the spelling right we can just left click once right click copy that whole thing go back to our server and then we can paste that in there so this particular server has uh, it starts with cf zombie admin tools vpp admin tools and then at daisy otter and as you can see they're separated by a semicolon there then all we do we just save that restart the server and we would have the most wonderful daisy otter live on our community server right there we go thank you very much for hunter z for creating these animal mods can't wait to put them all on one server and just enjoy them all and see how they affect the gameplay as we're moving around the map um if you've enjoyed this video hit like if you want to see more the same press subscribe and of course i'll see you again soon